Lesson 3.2, Practice Addition Facts to 20, Addition Strategies. We can find a sum by counting on 1, 2, 3, changing the order of the add-ins, using doubles facts, and remembering that adding 0 to a number won't change the number. Here we have 7 plus 3. For counting on, we start counting with the greatest add-in, 7. Then we count on to find the sum. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. We can also start with 7 and say 8, 9, 10. Changing the order of the add-ins does not change the sum. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9, and 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. And this is called the commutative property of addition. We're going to learn more about that later on, and you'll learn it in third grade. Using doubles facts that we remember, we can find a sum by counting on one or counting back one. For 5 plus 6, we can think of the doubles fact 5 plus 5, which is equal to 10. 6 is one more than 5, so we've got 5 plus 5 plus one more. We've got 10 plus one more. That's 11. We can also use the doubles fact 6 plus 6. If this 5 is one less, we can take away one from the doubles fact. We've got 12 minus 1. That's equal to 11. If this is confusing for you, we learned how to do this in the last video, 3.1, that's linked in the description. When we add 0 to a number, the number doesn't change. It keeps its identity. We have 5 plus 0. It's still 5. The 0 couldn't change it. It's still a 5. When we add 0 to any number, that number will stay the same. Each side of the equal sign will show the same amount. We have 2 plus 3 on this side of the equal sign, that's a 5, and it equals 5, that's 5. Each side of the equal sign shows the same amount. This one, it just shows it as 2 plus 3, and this side, it shows it as 5. We can also have it where the sum is in the front on the left side. The left side is 5 and the right side is 5. We can write the answer to the right of the equal sign or to the left of the equal sign. Here we need to write the sums. We have 9 plus 3. We start with the greatest add in 9 and we can count on 3. 9, 10, 11, 12. If 9 plus 3 is equal to 12, 9 plus 4, do you know the answer? 4 is 1 more than 3. It must be 1 more than 12. It must be 13. Here we have 7 plus 0. Remember, when we add 0, it doesn't change the number. It's the same amount. So 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. And 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. Here we have 8 plus 2. We need to write the sum here in this space. We start with the greater, add in 8, and we count on 2. 8, 9, 10. Here we have 2 plus 8. We have the same add-ins, they're just in a different order. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, and 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. We can add numbers in any order and get the same sum. Here we have a doubles fact, 9 plus 9. Do you know how much 9 plus 9 is? If you said 18, you're right. So what would be 9 plus 8? These add-ins are the same. This one is one less. 
we can do 18 and one less. That would be 17. Nine plus nine is equal to 18. So 18 is equal to nine plus nine. And 17 is equal to nine plus eight. Some of you know I have three dogs. This is Miss Bonnie Pickles. This is Betty White, and that's Lola Bell. Lola ate three dog treats. Betty ate four dog treats. Miss Pickles ate twice as many as Betty. How many treats did Miss Pickles eat? So we think we need to find how many Miss Pickles ate, and we can circle the important information. It says Miss Pickles ate twice as many as Betty. Well, Betty ate four. That means Miss Pickles ate twice as many as four. Is it important that Lola ate three? No, it's not. It's only important that Betty ate four and Miss Pickles ate twice as many as Betty. Twice as many means double the amount. We can write the four that Betty ate and we can double it four plus four. Do you know how much four plus four is? If you said eight, you're right. Miss Bonnie Pickles ate double what Betty ate. Betty ate four, we double it, so it's a four plus four. That means Miss Bonnie Pickles ate eight dog treats. She's an awfully small dog to eat that many treats. We need to be careful because sometimes in word problems, there'll be information that's not important, like Lola ate three dog treats. We didn't need that to solve the problem. We make sure we label eight dog treats so we know what we were counting. Bob ate six cookies. Dave ate two more than Bob. How many cookies did Dave eat? So we think we need to find how many cookies Dave ate. We know he ate two more than Bob. We can write an addition sentence to solve this problem. We know Bob ate six cookies. Tells us right there. We know Dave ate two more than Bob. We can write an addition sentence. Bob's amount six plus two more. So how many cookies did Dave eat? We can start with the greater add-in, six, and we can count on two. Six, seven, eight. Dave ate eight cookies. We make sure our answer is labeled cookies so we know what we were counting. Sarah made seven bracelets last week. She made the same number of bracelets this week. How many bracelets did she make in two weeks? We think we need to find how many she made in two weeks. We can circle the important information. She made seven last week. She made the same number this week. She made seven last week and she made the same number seven this week. We have a doubles fact. We can write an addition sentence for this doubles fact, seven plus seven. Do you know how much seven plus seven is equal to? If you said 14, you're right. She made 14 bracelets in two weeks. So those are many strategies to find the sum for addition facts. You should practice and practice them so that you can go much faster and know them as well as you know one plus one is equal to two. Our next lesson, 3.3, we're gonna make a 10 to add. We're gonna be using 10 frames to help us. I hope I'll see you there. Have a really nice day. Bye.